Yeah. So yeah, again, I do appreciate everyone coming in as well, yeah, especially yeah. Um, Z Fighters and them lot. You know, it's it pretty good so far. But now we're gonna you know, push on forward, <clears throat> and then we'll see how this whole thing rolls from yeah. here on. So the big one, Dunk versus Lucis. They're both trying to fight our losers. Yeah, I mean. No matter what happens, right? They have to take two sets off of Delphos if yeah. they were if they are to win the tournament. Okay, so, yeah, so no matter no matter what you know, no matter who wins, they're gonna have a tough time yeah. getting you know getting four wins out of Delphos. Okay, but you know that's what that's what we're about to decide. We're about to decide yeah. who is the most up to task for taking those guys down. And um, we've got two vanguards and a marksman versus two vanguards and a marksman. It's basically mirror match. Jets and Jets, um, the seven rivals, and yeah. then Ace and Kepka. Do you feel like there's any character matchups you feel like we need to go over uh, in this one? I mean, yeah, I feel like they're both leading with Jets. Well, but yeah. Well, um, to be honest, this can go any way. I mean, if we so, I mean, the only real difference we have here is if you look at the marksmen. Yeah. Um, but obviously, one's got Sephiroth, one's got Cloud. Yeah. Um, they both. I mean, to be honest, Cloud and Sephiroth play quite similar. They're they like Ryu and Ken. They're, yeah. they're the same, but the slight differences make them two different characters. If we look at the, the two biggest differences, again, like the Ryu and Kens, we've got the two marksmen, so we've got Ace and we've also got Evil Banana playing uh, Kefka as well. Yeah. So the thing is, it's how are these two Vanguard teams going to utilize their marksman ability? And if we look here, th this, is, this is the thing I was saying about Nero and his team, uh, sorry, not Nero and his team, yeah. the team overall, uh, Dunk, is that they, they stay with, together in such a nice kind of neat kind of uh, they fortune. Yeah. Whereas if you look at the red team, they stay together but they move forward as one. The yeah. blue team, they stick together in a, in a group. They haven't really left this area they're, they're, of the yeah, map. They're all on one side yeah. of the map. But the red team are like, oh, we'll come in, we'll join you, yeah. we'll jump in. Four's going area. really high up there, and in fact, there's so, four surrounded at the moment. Yeah, so. Beckless is like already looking to, you know, he's, he's, he's hungry for something. Yeah. And he's targeting the marksman. So I can only tell as well, like, NXD has said, look, I need your guys' help, can you get this guy off me? That's why all three of them targeted him. Yeah. And because they all targeted him, they got a free KO on Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's going um, to spawn right here, um, just beneath Jet, and he's going to try to get KO. Here. Yeah, and he doesn't quite get it. That was really. Yeah, it was a combo amazing. breaker, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, combo breaker. Really nice. Um, basically, Nero decided to go for a, a quick uh, spawn HP attack, and instead Kepka chucked out the um, he chucked out the, uh, the thing that drops the uh, acid rain kind of thing. Yeah. And that stopped Cloud. It had enough poise to stop Cloud during his um, HP attack. Um, he's gone front and feeble there. Um, he, he didn't quite get the KO instead his teammate did. Mm. So again, it still works out pretty well. At the moment now, looking at Nero, he does have his sights on Gilgar stuff. And the reason being is that he has 1,600 uh, HP, which means he can get the kill on Gil if he wants to. Yeah. So what he's doing here is, I, I really like the way Nero plays Cloud. He plays him very methodically. Like, he doesn't. He's not. A, he's not your typical cloud player. I've, I've watched a lot of these guys' matches. Yeah. He's not. He's not a dumb cloud. You know, it's, it's a good thing. He he goes. What is the strategic way of going in? I don't have to dash in. I can. He's basically a truck. Yeah. You know, a train. He's a locomotive. That's what cloud is. He runs. Yeah. He goes fast. Keeps, and he go, hits, keeps moving and he forward. Hits, yeah. He hits hard. But you see Nero. He's he's methodical about his approach. He doesn't want to be that cloud that just runs in all the time. Yeah. So he chucks these out as a, you know kind of like an offensive attack. Yeah. The reason being is that when he chucks these out, you can't see what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. He, if you're on the ground with ground the cloud, you can chuck out the uh, the, the tornado, the aerogar, and then throw something out afterwards. We've seen Nero do that as well. Loads of times. Yeah. Loads of times. Nero's going for a reset. So what he's doing there is he's purposely blocking um, his combo. We've got to confuse. They've all lost access to all of their all of their attacks. Yeah. See that? Yeah. They, they can't do anything. They couldn't do anything. Yeah. For about two seconds, because uh, again, almost Evil Banana doing that confuse play is just so crucial. So good. We're blind as well. Yeah. He's he. Evil Banana's Kefka, I, I I love watching it. it. He's he's so smart and that confused. It, it works really well against a smart team because because like I said, the blue team likes to stick together. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You jump over the top, confused. That's a, that's an error uh, error of effect. Confused. The whole team is gone. Yeah. Um, and now it looks like the red team are trying to turn the tides by using their summon as well. Yeah. So you know you go Kefka waving his ass there. You know everyone take a look at this. Yeah. You know <laughs> so. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Yeah, so I mean, already, um, I think. You see Neil. Oh my god. You can see that already? Oh, yeah. that's bad. Bahamut's coming in, and if they don't. if um, And if we look here at uh, Nero, if we move the camera a bit, you can see Nero's got the countdown. Yeah. So does his teammate Mugshot. If they don't, they're going to get broke, and they don't. So they've oh, they're broken. broken. Yeah, this they're broke. Is rough. Uh, so, yeah, Gil, uh, really, really smart player. They're using Doom. Uh, he's broken the opposing team. Yeah. Um, but again, look at the way that both these teams are moving together. They're moving as one. Yeah. They're, they're communicating to each other, saying, "I need you to help me get this character off me. Um, watch out for." Oh my God, do you all that here? Yeah. This is this is why high-level players don't use Shiva because 
they know that these these summons have got so much more to them than just the bravery value. Of course, yes, of course. That that those laser beams from Bahamut pushes all of the team team uh, teammates apart. Yeah. It locks onto you and fires out and it fires yeah. the way you, you want. Have to move, you have to yeah exactly. Yeah. You have to you have to break formation. Yeah, and it, it looks to, and by the way, it explodes. When, when the laser beam finishes, it explodes. Yeah, so you're well. forced, forced to move a far distance. Yeah, and that's why Shiva, and again, she works in every team, but she doesn't push every team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just naturally It's vanilla. Works. It's just vanilla. Let's have a look at what I bet this is doing here, because he was trying to go for the KO against LSD. Yeah, he's been down at the moment, though. He's going to have yeah. to get a hard knock. <laughs> he's going to slowly get out here. Confused, confused. Oh my god, picked up. Is he going to go for it? He looks like he's going to try and get a KO at least one of the characters again, because they're all kind of sticking together. They've only got one minute left remaining as well, oh, so they're going to have to try to really push now for yeah. this last stop. Exactly, LXD pushes him away. He, so so if we look here, Beckless has already just said, okay, cool, Mugshot is over on the right side. I don't have to worry about him too much. Leave yeah. him down there. But he is a little bit worried. He's gonna. Tr he's trying to go for the kill. So oh, Nero so comes hard. in. And, Nero comes in and stops him. That was a good assist. Yes, yeah. he saved. He, I would, I'd say he pretty much saved his teammate there from what yeah. could have been a KO. And that's hard. That's a hard situation yeah. as well because that's a that's a one hit brave. Yeah, one yeah. hit brave. That thing jumps right in, yeah. slams down. Very fast. Yeah, so the fact that he got there to stop that, yeah. was excellent play. Nero and, uh, and really yeah, he, he saved the team there. Yeah. Not only did he save that, save his teammate from getting KO'd. But he also got the kill. Yeah, he also got the kill as well. So that very was impressive good. for Nero. That was that, that was that yeah. was sick. Again, Nero doing amazingly well. And Nero again, putting like, work. <laughs> again, like like I said, he's a smart cow player. He knows. Don't be that dumb cow player. Just charge him. He can tank. He can tank hits, but he's not wasting that opportunity. He's yeah. picking his spots really, really well. Yeah. And. That's what sets him apart from other players. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it helps as well that he's got LXD helping him out, and he's also got uh, Mugshot, who's who's more of the vanguard going in. Just yeah. like, cool, I'm going to go in. I'm going to be. He. I feel like Mugshot is trying to bring as much attention to him as possible, yeah. and is allowing Cloud and Ace to put in more work. Because yeah. Obviously, he's a defensive juggernaut, but he can block HP attacks. Exactly. And not only that, but he also has some uh, very damaging attacks of his own. Yeah. Um, and his HP attack is nice. It's very, very like, nice. Snap, like, it tracks. It tracks. It you tracks. see that? Yeah, it it, exactly, so yeah. his thing actually. Tracks tracks on startup but on active it doesn't so depending on where you are it will track you the whole time once it gets to active then it will commit to where yeah it will commit to the attack yeah yeah and you can see wow on the top <laughs> but, ropes but the thing is i did no damage because he had zero yeah, he, had zero bravery, yeah. he had zero bravery now the thing is is that we're doing object to us object here but the, what, a lot, what i do as well when i play like you know, lightning for example yeah. if i'm running around with like less than a thousand bravery i'll probably just go for a bravery attack the main reason being is that if you do your bravery, your bravery resets back to a thousand. Yeah. Every time you do a bravery attack and it lands, you commit to that amount of damage. Yeah. In um, in the case of uh, Mug Shooter, what uh, Mug Shooter, sorry, what he did was he had he realized he had no brave. I might as well just get a free hit. Just regardless, I'm gonna get reset myself back to a thousand. Yeah. Now I'm back to being a threat. That's what a lot of people don't actually realize in the game is that there's a mechanic where you can reset your bravery if you're below a thousand. If you're below a thousand, just get a free, uh, get, go for a free um, bravery, and you you know you can kind of capitalize that way. Nice. Um, I even though he's going to get a summon up here. He's, he's close to getting a summon, but I don't really agree with it. Because during that one part, of, during during the bit where he tried to summon, his teammate just lost two stocks. Like, right. you were together as a team. And again, while I do think... Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, mean, they can afford this though, because they've yeah. got the stock lead. Yeah, yeah. They can afford that. this. So they're <laughs> going to try to slowly close their grip around the opponent's throw right now. Yeah. And try to close this out. They've got the life lead. So I think the bar the Bahamut play was, was was really good. It was calculated. Yeah, yeah. He had to he had to try and do something to at least help his team out. Maybe when they spawn, yeah. they can carry on with the summon. This is this is the part of the long game at the moment. They're 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 playing a long game and a short game. If Bahamut decides to actually hit, then obviously that's which gonna it help. does. It, it didn't which hit. It okay, is, yeah. so this is now this is now really really. They important. have to run. They, they have to run. Yeah, they yeah. have to run. But if, even if it doesn't do all the work that they the want to, is, he's he's out on his own. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, even if it doesn't work out the way that they want to, they've still got so many stocks over there that they can afford. Yeah. The, yeah, they got it. They got that it. was that was really scary. I just said, did you see where Six was? Yeah. Kef Banana was out on his own. Again, like, he wasldn't doing anything wrong. He had to run from He Bahamut. had to, yeah. He had no and choice. He had no choice. When he ran, he was out on his own. And I even said, I don't know if you saw, but they were all... Like, it was they all went punch. straight over yeah, there. They yeah, they were like, oh, he's behind. They, three lines straight on that Kefka player. I mean, if I was Banana, I'd be like, yeah. Cool, good game. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that, it, was yeah. that was that's that's a scary position to be in when you when they, all three of them turn around, they're busy attacking this team. They got more spurts. I saw Nero and um, LXD like just pinning down the opposing yeah. team, just the um, Beckless and Gil. Then as soon as they saw Kafka come behind, they they all turned around and said, "Cool, yeah, yeah, you're you're, you're now my target. You're now a target." Yeah, that, so was, then, that was great. That was a great. Uh, that was a great spot there by the team. Yeah, uh, especially because up close and personal, Kafka has very few options. Confused. Yeah, 